Hello, I'm Olivia Gartz, a Senior Solutions Consultant here at Reich, and today I'm going to walk through Reich's native financial fields. These fields allow you to track fees and costs, both planned and actual, so that you can stay up to date on how your budget is being utilized throughout the duration of a project. If you have any questions about what I show during today's demonstration, please reach out to your assigned Reich sales team. If you don't already have one, you can find us at contact us on the Reich.com website. All right, let's dive right into the demo. Reich's native financial fields in the Reich Pinnacle Plan allow you to capture budgets, fees, and costs associated with each task and each project. This is useful for getting a sense of how much you're charging each customer for the work that you're completing, as well as how much it's costing you internally for these resources. To get started, we'll actually go to the job role section in Reich. Here, when you're setting up a new job role, you'll not only be able to identify the job role name, initials, and a color, but also set your bill rate and cost rate. These rates will be hourly, and combined later with your effort and time information at the task level to give you those plan for actual cost and fees. Once I create a job role, I'll then go to the user section, and at the individual user profile, I'll be able to give them a job role. Here you'll notice that initially Alex has no bill rate and has a custom cost rate set. Once I change his job role to designer two, those rates will update based on the job role rates. This can always be overridden. So for example, if Alex says, say gets a promotion and now he's costing us $175 an hour, I can update that on a per user basis. Once we've set our hourly rates at the user level, I can navigate back over to my projects and see what this looks like in action. Once I assign my user that I've just added those rates to and set an effort, I'll be able to see my planned costs and fees. Planned costs will combine the effort allocation and the cost rate whereas actual fees will take into account the bill rate and the effort allocation. Next, to get our actual costs, I can come in and track time on this task. Here, let's say I've completed four out of the total six hours. I can add my entry and my actual costs will update based on the bill rate and cost rate associated with the user who's tracking time. Whether a task is billable or non-billable can be controlled at that individual level. So for example, if we're working on admin work that's part of a broader client-facing project, we can always change that individual task to non-billable and take that out of the total cost for our customers. The last field available in our native financial fields is going to be budget. This budget field is applicable at the project level and allows you to simply type in what you intend the budget to be for specific projects. With each of these financial fields, we can also combine them with other custom fields or other native fields to give us calculated fields such as project variance or margin or hours per estimate or hours divided by estimated. So you can get a sense of how your project is doing using these custom formula fields. This has been a brief introduction of the native financial fields in Reich Pinnacle. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to your Reich sales representative. Have a great rest of your day.